I'm Karen Lloyd, I'm a consultant civil engineer and this is the amazing Cardiff Bay. Today Cardiff Bay is a major tourist attraction, bringing over 4 million visitors a year to Cardiff. It's full of great buildings and places to visit. Some of my favourites are the Millennium Centre and the Senate with their wonderful architecture. And just behind me, Mermaid Quay, which has loads of great restaurants and holds a special place in my heart. As well as many cultural events held throughout the year, there's lots of things to do as well. You can take a ride on a boat, or you can walk or cycle the whole five miles around the bay. It's a great place, especially on a sunny day. It wasn't always like this. 25 years ago, this whole area was derelict, and it wasn't a pleasant place to hang out. Just over this wall, rather than this lovely freshwater lake, it was a sea of mud and silt for much of the day. That's because this area has the second largest tidal range in the world. It's 14 and a half metres. That's more than eight times taller than me. The government realised that something must be done to regenerate this entire area and set up a corporation to look at some ambitious options. Once their studies were complete, they proposed that the best way to regenerate this area was to build a giant 500 acre freshwater lake. And to do this, they would need a barrage 800 metres long, enclosing the rivers Taff and Ely, and that would cost £120 million. So here we are at the barrage itself, along with its three locks, allowing boats to pass out at any time of day. It's hard to imagine now that at one time you could only get in and out of here a couple of hours either side of high tide. Now you know a bit more about the project, let me tell you about what the engineers did to help make sure it happened. Once the project was agreed upon, teams of engineers set about designing it and overcoming the many challenges to ensure it would be a success. Not everyone agreed with the plans and the designers had to allay people's fears and also protect the environment. Fish were a key consideration and just over here they designed and built one of the largest fish passes in the UK to allow the fish to safely migrate up the rivers. 6,000 birds that overwintered here on the intertidal mudflats were also rehomed in a new, bigger wetland area just up the coast. The people who lived along the two rivers also had to be persuaded. They were really concerned that by building the barrage it would increase the risk of flooding their homes and that the rising groundwater would seep into their basements. The engineers solved these problems too. By computer modelling, they showed that by building this barrage, it would actually reduce the risk of flooding, both by holding the very high tides back and by dropping the level of the water in the lake, they could allow more flood water to come down from the rivers. Computer models also helped simulate the rising groundwater and the design engineers were able to specify dewatering systems to protect any properties whose basements would be affected. The challenges didn't stop with the design engineers, of course. The engineers who worked for the construction companies also had their own problems to solve. They had to work out the best way of removing 10 metres of mud and silt to sit this barrage on the solid sands and gravels. And also, how to build a nice watertight cofferdam to allow all of this to be built safely in the dry. It took them five years and after a mammoth effort by hundreds of people, this project was built in 1999. And that brings me back to my story. I came to Cardiff to help design these buildings in Mermaid Quay. Like the designer of, say, this coat, I decided what many parts of this building would be made from and would look like, and I also made sure it would stand up safely. That's one of the joys of being a civil engineer. You get to work with a lot of creative and talented people, and you work together as a team to come up with solutions that make the environment better for everyone. And almost 20 years later, you still feel proud when you walk past something that you helped to make happen.